Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Biblio Fitness. Hope everyone has or had a great day. Made um, some gains. Today was rest day numero dos for, for moi. Um, so more time to uh, read and do other shit. You know, DC training is um, very interesting. It's quite fun. Um, it's still bizarre, you know. I have reduced volume by quite a bit, and um, but I am recovering quite well. I just, those little makers are going to destroy me. I, I feel like they're going to creep up on me, but whatever. That's beside the point. So today another aphorism I'm, I'm you know it, this is honestly in a very selfish way from a very selfish perspective also a very great practice um you know i think especially when it comes to reading philosophy you have to kind of be able to reflect it's not like reading a fiction or history even you know where you're just remembering dates and events and movements of troops and stuff like that um, there's not too much reflection. Obviously, there's going to be the bias of the author, but be that as it may, right? But when you do these, when but performing these sort of videos and, and the like um, forces one to really analyze and, you know, um, understand and try to figure out, you know, by obviously this is all subjective, but still, you know, it's a great practice, so. But this one is aphorism 191 uh, called Better Men, in which he basically talks about like the modern art of today is for the, I mean, the art of today is for the modern men, like men of modern society, greedy, undisciplined, unsatisfied, ungrateful, you know, you know, shallow people. And that's what the art is for. And art is for them is like an escape from realism and an escape from the world into some some sort of idealized state where they can exercise their own um, brutality well besides yeah of, of happiness and exaltation <laughs> but um but yeah and and he talks about how that's like in complete contrast with how easy it would be to satiate the audience of like of men i suppose like of you know when he's in the presence of a whole man of a whole man you know uh who's who can easily please his audience with pictures of chivalry self heroic self denial um you know uh, uh, uh you know discipline and all this other stuff you know and and I feel like the the difference is you know, greatness stemming from within and not stemming from without. You know, you go to religions and glory and and and, and all the great exalting sensations and moments that you might experience through your life, if they are well deserved, you have to place the responsibility and the and the credit to God. You can never say you can never take credit. That greatness never stems from you, right? And it's different from this sort of um, philosophy. Um, you know, more. You know, I've always been quite a, a cynic, obviously, but you know that's why I really do think that we really have fucked up adopting, you know, feminine qualities as the noblest of virtues. You know, like it's no wonder we men are going through this pitiful state right now um we are going against our very own nature we you know um our own nature and and things that have caused civilization to move forward has been deemed as evil and and, you know we're in constant fear and, and constant paranoia against our ourselves and that's a lot of stress and a lot of a lot of you know on the on on one's mind obviously so but I, I i you know i think that's like the pivotal contrast and he even talks how you know where greatness join with humanity is possible but also like you know not being weighed down by the caprices of princes and and popes and priests i mean and 
you know, not being restrained by the morality of such individuals and such grandeur, like, you know, your own individuality and your own grace and your own intellect and your own confidence and all this sort of stuff doesn't, you know, you don't get attached to other people's ideas, you know, you have your own way. You only answer to one person, you know, and, you know, self, as he calls, self-glorification and, you know, and power. And so, you know, it's, I feel like that is the contrast, right? Like, you know, religion, you know, it's really is like a slave morality, you know. I know, I know, I know a lot of people who always make that fucking distinction, that, that always make that, that comment, but it, it, you know, and yet we abide by it, so, you know. One of the biggest, one, the big, one of the, 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 the craziest facts that really still gives me shivers down my spine at times is the fact that us Hispanics still worship God. <laughs> like, like the, our cultural and our cultural, the cultural genocide enacted by these so-called Christian friars and these Christian kingdoms was so absolute that we don't question it. You know, um, slave slavery you know our glory and our life and everything around and everything good from us is because of the favor of god we don't even deserve it because of our of being born of that inherent original sin and it's quite different from this and i feel like a lot of it is also like like I, this is like his romantic period a lot of it calls into like the whole Hellen, hellenistic era of the great heroes like Heracles and so forth so um you know, where they had to go through, like, severe trauma and fight. Like, it's also in the Bible, obviously. You know, even the Bible itself changes dramatically, you know, from the Old to the New Testament, the Old to the New Testament, as it were. Um, but, yet, you know, it's just looking at it, you know, differently and not, you know, and, you know, believe, you know, being able to say that all your effort comes from yourself and not from God, having to give credit to something else that does not, you know, that wasn't there when you were working hard, those is usually con you're considered as conceited and and narcissistic and all the and you know these negative assertions that people make about you. Um, so I do like it. So I. I um, <laughs> you know, because later on he does talk about how, you know, even the vanity of moral teachers trying to encompass everything, you know. I need to read a little bit more about that, but I feel like it goes on with that. You know, trying to create this ideal through art, even through art and music, you know, this ideal of uh, a, a, se a, sep a separation from our old history, I suppose, so. No, that'll be all for today. Like, it's literally an aphorism, but it's a really interesting one. Um, I'm still a little bit ahead. He's making contrast between German and French people and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. But, y'all, yeah, please read this if you ever get the chance. This is an amazing book. And I'm going to read... Uh, I'm, I, I, def, I think I'm going to read uh, Twilight of the Idols and the Antichrist after for sure. But aside from that, hope y'all make gains. Hope y'all have a great day. Love y'all. Until next time. Peace.